and welcome to Info Flash. Say, did y'all lose power yesterday too? Yeah, when the lights went out, there I was cooking dinner. Oh, well, if we're getting specific, I was nuking a half-eaten burrito I found wedged in my couch cushions. Yeah, yeah, I know I shouldn't have. After all, I heard microwaves zap out all the nutrients, but hey, it kills the cockroaches too, so, you know, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, what was I? Right, the power outage. Apparently some plant out in Santo short circuit Heard the EMPs were knocking AVs out of the sky. The CPD says the blackout led to 120 mil in damages all in all. The real tragedy though? I can't stomach a cold burrito. 120 million eddies? Hot damn. And just to get your hands on one dude. You got Not some too shabby. V. Thanks, Johnny. Okay, where we left off, we had talked and got unfortunate news uh, from Hellman. So now we need to go talk to Takamura. So let's go do that. I think we were supposed to do that beforehand, but oh well, it doesn't matter now. Oh, I got a whole bunch of uh, side quests down here in this area. Because I did most of Watson. As you can tell, there's not much left there. Okay. Well, let's go meet Takamura. Totally meant to do that. <laughs> Red light. Red light. Green light. drive if you just always push down on the throttle and nothing else. Oh. Uh. Come on, we haven't met. I'm Elizabeth. My husband and I, we need a somewhat delicate matter handled. We think you could help. My am I asking who your husband is? Actually, who are you? I'd rather not discuss details over the phone. Please, meet with us. We'll explain everything. As I said, oh it's a rather delicate matter. Uh, what's so delicate about the matter? I'd rather discuss that in person, if you don't mind. Oh, that was not my fault. Can we meet? Sure, let's do that. I'll send you the address. See you. How did they even get my number? I did not. It, it was that guy's fault. He shoved me into the girl. That's how I park, baby. It is good to see you, V. Seems Maybe. pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. What the hell happened? Look close to awful. You see a man robbed of his implants, money, and dignity. Look well. Well, it is not all bad. 
I am mostly unnoticed in the streets. Well, that's a plus. The friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? Oh boy. From the carrier at anchor in the bay. Saburo's daughter. Yes, and if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Sure you can trust him? Yes. <laughs> Convincing. Very. I have nothing to lose. Is that better? Worse. Because I got plenty to lose. I mean, do I? I'm pretty much a dead man. By Look God. Friend here. A good sign. He's usually camouflaged. Looks like he took a domain. Witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then. Compeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started choking. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. I've but already died, truth. man. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. But you can't ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off until you can get straight to your inaba. Sorry, but this is gonna take much longer. What would you do now? <laughs> Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu Sama. Consider yourself lucky that I am not you. Oda. You can't not like we're asking for a whole lot here. Just one brief meeting. Hanako should decide if what we say is true. You can't decide for her. Will you help? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my oh. friend. We are all so far from home. Oh, I was like, where's he going? Good fucking riddance. One hour sock of whack job is already plenty. <laughs> Fine friend there. Got any more? Oh, boy. On us. Only him. Oh, boy. He's he's not a very good driver. Ta Takamura. Where you going, buddy? Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes. And obtained something useful. Hmm. How do you figure that? The parade, dummy. What Oda said. They return to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If oh, somehow we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japantown. 
Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? Hmm. Uh, hang on. Not so fast. It could sound as easy as hacking a schism. But you said yourself, Hanako's got the tightest security in all Night City. Correct. That is why I wish for you to contact us with the local fixer. Let's see. Yeah, Wakako. No, just the fixer dame. Wakako Akata. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. I don't know how much it take you. You're a bit problematic. Will you join me? Oh, uh, okay. Sure. Why not? Coming, Johnny. Oh. It's just more chill music than I expected. So, Jig what's that Jig boat? Street. What is carrying, this? Uh, Jig just Jig, a night city Jig. name. Beware, you mock me too often. Hmm. Um. So was that carrying float items? Let's ask him how he is. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Where have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good. Because catching lead in Night City is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well, as you can see. You should worry about yourself. Yeah. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorino and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Fair enough. Leave me in the car? Or is he gonna open my door? Takamura, you don't even know where you're going. Or do you? I can't I can't match his speed walking. Like she caught him uh, on Jig 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 Street. Not supposed to be here. We're talking American. Oh. Now, I may not be good with names, but I do have quite a talent for faces. Where have I seen yours before? On the TV? Very unlikely. Oh, but of course, Hideshi Hino, the man, the legend, in the flesh. Oh. <laughs> You're just in time. Do you know who this is? Hideshi Hino, 
the late night comedy host. He was brilliant before he fell off the wagon. Can you still do your famous, better bugger up? No. <laughs> Come on, you don't forget a thing like that. Just once, please. V, we should go in now. I don't know, I'm kind of having fun. Hideshi, don't leave this poor guy hanging. <laughs> this is not the best time, truly. Oh, come on, I haven't heard it in years. Oh. <laughs> Beta Bakurap! <laughs> wow. Uh. Inosan, what happened to you? I do not know. <laughs> I do not recognize myself. Are you happy? May we go? That was... that was enjoyable. Fine, let's go. Hideshi Hino, to have fallen so far. Such a shame. <laughs> ah, good stuff. Man, they are pachinkoing like crazy. Hello. I can't talk to her. Hey, big guy. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. <sighs> v, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Hideshi Hino, the comedian. Yamero, the Utenda. Takemura Goro des. Okada san, Oai de Kitekoe des. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. Yep. And you, V, bring him to my door. Yeah. The one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Ah. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Mm. Arasaka, Tiger Claws, kind of like the family dog screwing the cat, huh? Can't possibly be fond of the people who killed your grandkid. That was very long ago. Time's the best healer? A wound like that, though. A wound like that, no. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? For free? You sure? Got my reasons, but patience, I got none. Fair enough. Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. 
at the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. Imagine that. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Not at all curious what we're going to all this trouble for. Blissful ignorance has served me well. In any case, yes. I'll find out soon, won't I? She's wise, isn't she? Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. All right. Well, that went well. She didn't kill us. Thanks, Wakako. Can I play Pachinko? We'll have to play the uh, Roach game at some time. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. Yeah, but I will try side. to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Cool. Just low profile, okay? Don't start handing out autographs. <laughs> In fame, <laughs> I could not overtake you if I tried. Yeah. Be safe, B. Good point. Can I talk to him about Hel Hel Helmer? Helman? Is that it? No, that's it. Okay. Call Mr. Hands. Is that... Let's take a look at our journal here. Main jobs. Okay, call Mr. Hands is a main job. And then down on the street, side jobs. We're not going to worry about them for now. So call Mr. Hands or down on the street, wait a day for Takamura's call. So let's, instead of doing that, let's go. Well, we know the Voodoo Boys were behind all this. So that's one step forward. Problem is now have to reach them somehow. Two steps back. There are a lot of things to be found in Pacifica, just usually not what you're looking for. Good news is you already got a fixer, a man without a face, to help you find this fart in the wind. Sounds like a freaking delight. Fart in the wind, here we go. Wait, was there a... Oh, okay. Call Mr. Hands. Hey, what's hey. shaking? Need to make contact with the Voodoo Boy's chief if you can swing it. All Part right, all right. Straight to heavy business. Hmm. Now, that'd be Maman Brigitte. It'd be tough getting a word into her. Maman Brigitte. And that sounds like a spooky cult alias. Have not had the pleasure of asking her personally. But it is what everybody calls her. Doubt the title has any real religious weight, though. Voodoo boys play pretty fast and loose with their Haitian heritage. Huh. I was led to believe you could arrange anything. Ah. Now that sounded like my third wife every time she wanted a new purse. What? <laughs> okay. You really don't do any biz with them? Not with the chefs, chefins, priests, and whatnot. All got dirigible-sized egos. Won't talk to lowly me. But if you insist, I can ask around, try to set something up. I'll just need some details first. Sorry, it's personal. Well, that's fucking helpful. Uh, got something they want. Truly? Want to sell something to the VDBs? Trust me, they don't want it, they don't need it. They're isolated, insulated, they got their own contracts, tech, networks. But, have it your way. Okay, I'll see what I can do and get back to you. Okay. Wow, this place is cool. Nice. Alright, so keep busy until Mr. Hands calls you back. Well, that I can do. Taste the love. Hello. Uh, this is totally my place. Let's go see the. Let's go see Vic. See if he's got anything new. Man, Night City's cool.
Or should we go there? We're close to that one. Oh, that was dumb. Ah, <laughs> you know, doing it up. Oh, Pan Am. V, it's a good thing you answered. I could probably uh, use your help. Okay. Probably. Fine. I could really use your help. Can we meet? Yeah. Deep breaths, Pan Am. Tell me what's going on. Do you remember Saul, the leader of the clan I left? Yeah, uh, yeah. I had a falling out or something. Doesn't matter right now. He. They nabbed him. This is just oh. not suitable for a call, V. Just tell me when and where. You don't know how good it is to hear that. Swing by the Aldecaldos camp. I'll explain it all. The Aldecaldos? Thought you parted ways. Oh, Come on, V. It's a long story. Just hurry over. I'm here. All right, cool. Riders on the storm, track job. Heck yeah, that's what I want. Let's do a side job. Let's not mark that anymore. Can I? Oh, there we go. Uh, okay. We gotta drive. Do it. Elden Ring so much that I tried to. <laughs> I haven't even been playing it on people. Whoops! Hello! I tried to sprint. I tried to do it again. What else we got radio wise? Or does Sazmadap uh, actually mean like sounds? I mean sounds. Okay. Yeah, let's try it out. Maybe Johnny will like it. I think we need a faster car. Hello and welcome to WNS News. I'm Aaron Pickbaum. Today we have several important public service announcements. In Arroyo, a terrorist group dubbing itself a trade union has been eradicated. These self-proclaimed representatives of Night City's working class attempted to organize a strike which could have led to financial losses in the millions. Remember, if you come across these so-called union representatives, immediately contact the NCPD or the appropriate corporate security forces. More and more patients have been falling into hospitals throughout Night City with injuries caused by malfunctions in illegally purchased cyberware. Unauthenticated implants have caused several fatal short circuits already. The NCP yeah, we helped with one. all cyberware users to buy only from licensed manufacturers. It's worth the investment. Numerous nomad caravans have appeared near city limits in Norfolk and Charlotte Hill. 
Some reports suggest some of the finest favorites may have entered Night City despite the NCPD's best efforts. If you spot a nomad, remember that you have the right to self-defense. With such dangerous wow. criminals, warning shots alone are not considered an effective deterrent. Now, today's final story. An NCARD station is stunned by a bloody massacre. The unidentified assailant opened fire on passengers waiting for the train on Platform 2 at Med Center. Ten people are confirmed dead and 16 injured. We advise night citizens to thoroughly consider all transport options to find the safest solution. Thanks for tuning in to WNS News. Stay safe out there, Night City. Everybody says stay safe, but nobody gets to. And uh, that's a great way to start off. Like, oh, you see some nomads. Whip your guns out. And we got, uh, oh, she's got a new, oh, that looks, I like that. They remind me of the FD. Okay, cool, cool, cool. All right. Got a, got a nice scream roll. They got a bandit. Oh, I'm tracking that now. Whoops. I want to track this one. Okay. Cool. There's Pan Am's truck. Oh, there's Pan Am. V, it's good you're hey. here. Oh, look, there's a fast travel point right there. I had no idea you and the Aldecaldos had made up. They continue to grind my gears something terrible. As family but, will do. you know. They're family. Yeah. Exactly. Sorry, I had to, had to give her some crap there, but I'm glad she, she dealt with it well. What happened? Spit it out. The Wraiths took Saul. The Brick Brain ventured out with a small patrol and never came back. Sure it was Wraiths? We've been observing their camp. We know they're holding prisoners, including someone important. We need to free Saul. I don't know why, but I felt I could count on you. Oh, uh, well, okay. Always Pan Am. You and me are chooms. Thought that was clear. Careful, or I'll start believing you see her that. Face? You won't be able to get rid of me. I'll survive, oh. I'm sure. Never mind, I Whatever take it back. Whatever goodwill you might feel, I'm sure you won't turn down one of the best sniper rifles on the West Coast. Ooh, now you've got my attention. Grad. You saw it in action already. That and the gratitude <laughs> of the Caldos. Sounds fancy. Uh, Once you I'm have down. it in hand, fancy all of a sudden becomes kick-ass. I cannot Let's go. wait. Mitch will walk Let's you through the it. details. All right. Where's Mitch? Mitch? Oh, we're going to Mitch. Also, I want to talk oh, to your... Um, Pan Am and V, what's going on there? Oh, easy now. Yeah. After what happened to Scorpion, he shows up here? Guess probably for Saul. Ignore uh -huh. that. Hey, Pan Am, seriously? You really aim to do this? Someone has to. You know you have a piston missing, right? Someone has to. <laughs> you got a piston missing. Uh, the Coptic Bible. Have I read this one? I don't think so. The Book of Enoch and the Angelus, the children of the heaven, children of the heaven saw the lust, saw and lusted after them and said to one another, come, let us choose us, let us choose us wives from among the children of men and beget us children. Okay, Enoch and all of the others together with them took unto themselves wives and each chose for himself one and they begun to go into unto in unto them and to defile themselves with them and then they taught them charms and enchantments and uh, the cutting of roots and made them acquainted with plants and they became pregnant and they bore great giants whose height was 300,000 L's Wow. Oh, 3,000 L's. Sorry, I over-exaggerated. Who consumed all the acquisitions of men? Oh, boy. And when men could no longer sustain them, the giants turned against them and devoured mankind. And they began to sin against birds, beasts, and reptiles, and fish, and to devour one another's flesh, to drink the blood. Then Earth laid accusation against the lawless ones. What is this, um, attack on Titan? Hey, you. Want to see what you got in stock? Only the baddest firearms in all the bad lands. Isn't that why you're back? Some may call this junk. I call it treasures. I had to. 
I had to. Okay. Okay. Thanks, man. I'm coming. I'm coming. I just got to talk to your Ripper dog. Hey, that car looks a lot like mine. Hey, yeah, yeah. Uh, give me just a second. I want to get myself chipped. Straight to the point. I like it. Cool. Okay, so let's take a look up here. He's got two mods. Uh, Machatic. Machat. Mech. Mechatronic. Mechatronic. Wow. Uh, increases damage to drones, mechs. Oh, I see. Um, what about this? No, what we got is rates. Uh, can't afford any of these. When your health drops to 15%, release electroshock. Not worried about that. These are both white, so I could swap that one out. Six grand allows you to aim and shoot while sliding. Uh, not for that price. Okay. We do have camo, and I keep forgetting about it. This one right here. Optical camo. It's amazing. Grants invisibility for 15 seconds. Takes a minute to cool down. I keep forgetting about that. Oh, crap. Um, so, I was using that for smart weapons, but I think I'm going to put this back on. Allows you to use smart uh, weapons and directly links. So, I mean, I already have this. Let's put that back on. I'm not going to use smart weapons because I can't put silencers or sights. I like to use my own sights. Okay, anything better than what we got? No, but we could sell this. Oh, no, I definitely want to use that. What do I need? I need... So I need to increase my body. And I am loving Gorilla Arms, but... It might be pretty cool to have rockets, mantis blades, or mono wire. I want to try mono wire next. So uh, we might uh, just try that whenever we get lucky enough that... Uh, that we find some. All right, thanks, man. Sorry, sorry. Hey, there's that car you ruined. Where's Mitch? He was supposed to meet me here. He'll be here any minute. Huh. You never mentioned seeking outside help. We can use all the help we can get. Uh, oh, sorry, Pan Am. Should it, where should I stand? Right here? Lean against the car. I see. Okay, how you want to do this? Quietly. An open assault would be suicide. Mitch is already setting up the recon. You'll sneak into the Wraith's camp while I cover you. Going in quiet. Choose all you need. It's not that I don't want to go to serve some raffins up some justice. It's just... Look around! The last attacks left barely half of us standing. Our supplies are stuck outside goddamn Reno, and our gear... Don't get me started. We're up shit creek, static. And I don't know if we're ever gonna find or fashion a paddle. Try as we might. So we do... Your leader gets nabbed, and you, what, hope for the best? Rather than I think about what you do for the ones at the bottom of your food chain. You're asking for trouble. Leave it! He has a right not to understand. There's Mitch. Ah, Mitch. The reasonable one. I hey, floated buddy. a drone over the Wraith's camp. Will you take a look, or would you rather keep mouthing off? How are you, buddy? Mitch, how you been? Wishing duct tape could right all the world's wrongs. <laughs> and hey... It shouldn't be me occupying your thoughts, but Saul. You taking right. a look or not? Yeah. Let's see what we got here. The Raffins can't see it. Active camo, but that practically inhales battery juice, so make it quick. Got it. They found Ooh, an abandoned yeah, cement plant to squat in, with a mass of heavy gear. Locusts would be a better name for them. They fly into a place, strip it of all it's got, then move on. Well, what do we got time, there? Do you see the wall? They've added some primitive security measures. Oh, I can't mark anything. All right. It points to them aiming to stay longer. The question is why. Who knows for sure, but I would guess that Saul is part of the reason. If he's still there, we have to find a way inside. Okay, so we got quite a few people here. We need to be nice and sneaky, so I need to load up my pistol. That guard with, post is probably uh, the connected to the rest of the camp. Our way in. Maybe, but there are also breaches in the wall. Lightly yeah, guarded sections. Saw a sewer grate over there. 
And then we've got this here. And we got to chomp inside. Security cams. I did not even see that guy. This is going to be hard to be nice and quiet. Reapers smile upon you. Yeah, I've seen the wraiths a couple times and I do not care for their... Uh... Can I mark them? Oh, I can mark them. Does it count for me later? I think I can only mark so many things. Let's unmark that. Can I mark him? No. Or maybe guys just have stuff that I can't mark. Yeah, I can only do you mark see so the tracks? many things, I think. Yeah, I do. Tire tracks. Their vehicles were moving heavy freight. It could okay. have been equipment. Either that or Saul's not their only prisoner. The tracks lead to the truck. Can you scan it? That's probably the one they kept Saul in. The main building, there. Ooh. Saul must be inside. Quite a spread. I feel like looking for a diamond in a hailstorm. Lots of dudes here. I'm willing to do it for sniper rifle. If they haven't scrapped and gutted the place for parts, you could access the local camnet. You would just need to find the control room. Huge compound. More guys out here. Sniper in there. The skywalk. It connects the garage to the main structure. Yep. Might be our route. Okay, got some stuff to work with now. We also have that uh, sewer tunnel entrance, too. Is everything clear? Yep. Let's sum things up, just to be sure. Sheesh. Okay. The Raffins captured Saul. They're holding him somewhere inside their base. We are the cavalry riding to the rescue, hoping to make it in time. You will strive to slip into the camp while I cover you, but we'll let bullets fly only as a last resort. They are many, we are few. So we'll need to look for any chance to gain the upper hand. You will pull Saul out, and the three of us will ride away at top speed. All clear now? Yeah, sounds good. Yep. Let's go get Saul. Perfect. Mitch, is the van primed? I did what I could. Take a tour. Mm, no, I don't think that's a good thing to say. We've mouthed off enough. Solid job. I mostly improvised, actually. Either way, it'll have to do. Hold on a minute, I got one more thing. If you find Saul hasn't flatlined, you'll probably need this. Spike Superjet, a rhino dose. It should speed up Saul's central pump. Oh boy. Uh, okay. Hope so. Doubt I could carry him out of my back. So that should be everything. V, will you ride with me? Okay. Yeah, of course I'm going with you. Okay, you take the wheel. One me driving. Yep, I need to fiddle with my scope a bit. Bad at driving, Pam. Pan Am. I keep calling her Pam. Oh. What? That was weird. Uh, is the van okay? Uh oh. Van? I think it thought I was trying to get in a conversation with him. 
Let's just get away from the camp here. Oh, yeah. We even have a radio in here. Oh, she Take doesn't have a radio in her truck. Let's get pumped, right? Um... Night FM. There we go. Ooh! <laughs> so it's a stop, but I don't know how to do that. Oh, they still have horns in cars, huh? Raffin Shiv. I still can't believe he let himself get captured. Anyone else? But Saul? You said yourself he's not at the top of his form. Yes, but moving civilians across the border during a bombardment? Hijacking a petrochem tanker? Opening the valves? Cranking a few figure eights to set the desert ablaze and give the kids a fun show? That's the Saul I remember. All that are idols. I know. It's just... Of a storm. Yeah. Looking bad. Oh, it's bad in more than its look. We have to move quickly. Okay, let's go over the plan again. We need to hide the car. Park beside that outcrop. Okay, out. I'll find a place to roost and keep you in sight. Cool. You just watch yourself down there. I sure will. Okay, let's see if we can start by getting as many things marked and visible as possible. Now, wait a second. Do I have... No. Um, inventory... I've got... Gash? Anti-personnel grenade. Okay. But I thought I had... Grenades. There's my camo. I'm definitely going to need that. Recon grenades. Here we go. And... This one has a blast radius. Scans its surroundings for seven seconds and highlights detected enemies. Seven seconds detected enemies. So I don't know why this one's special. But let's use that. Oh man, can I only have one? Oh, I can only have one at a time. All right, well, we'll use those. Okay. Marked. You know what? Let's see if we can ping. All right. I'd really like to just take everybody out. Who is that? And we got that guy over there. We've got the sewer entrance over there. So the sniper needs to go. We've got some guys in there. That building's loaded. Let's we'll see if we can sneak in over here. Alright, Pan. Pan Am. I guess I should call her Pan instead of Pam. That'd make a little bit more sense. Alright, I'm in position. I have you, you in go. range. Okay, we're gonna be nice and quiet. That's right. Let's see if we can uh, successfully tuck this in here without getting caught. And we will make many saves. All right, so that guy needs to go. How do I get him in one shot? Oh, yes. Okay, he's out of the way. See if we can get into their system and mark everybody with cameras. That would be great. No camera on this building. <laughs> Good 
good thing he's completely unobservant. Oh, boy. Okay. Wow, I just knocked this whole room to crap. All right, can I get lucky enough? You know what? Let's quick save. You know what? I should put on Whistle. That way I can draw him to me. Let's take off. Let's take off Overheat. And let's put Whistle, whistle in. Try this again. I like the way it worked. What the hell? But uh, I forgot the button. <laughs> I forgot the button to uh, grab him. Saw me. What? That's weird. Someone over here? You're just wasting your time. Okay, well let's see if we can get any help from this thing. Ugh, I'm done with this shit. Current needs clinics, limbs not picky, chip sockets, processors, bioadapters, undamaged, or pretty freaking close, optics functional. Exco scales any condition. Do not send any more P-Links or thrusters. We don't want them. Uh, you'll get nothing for them, and we won't return them. Period. Current needs. Messages. Scouting report. Plumber Joe to Black Dust. Lands good for raids on the reg. Regular. Uh, little to no caldo activity out there, and Militech patrols stick to their facility like flies on roadkill. But we need did come across some heavy ironed breakers. Uh, they are pushing in deep. What's our strat? Ignore them. Regarding the breakers, black dust from Viper or to Viper, as you know, we had to work with other Raffin groups uh, because of the weak halls down south. But that's as far as it goes. Outside NC, uh, ain't no stronger than us. Uh, ain't no one stronger than us. If any soul out there mistakes us for freaking charity, uh, you know what to do. This is our backyard. Yeah, I don't like you guys at all already. Your inheritance. Urgent reply necessary. Son Dowles encrypted. Dear sir or madam, my name is Son Dowles. Uh, and I work with wet on... Uh, I found your address on a client list for Zeta Tech's Dutch office. Your name happens to be the identical that of a former client who died tragically in the recent floods ravaging the north of Europe. Please excuse the rather informal nature of this email, but the matter is truly urgent. My client has left behind 10 billion euro dollars in cash. In accordance to with local law, the government will assume the entire sum if their heir is not found within a week. I also have it uh, from unofficial sources that the funds will be e -mar earmarked uh, for the local branch of Euro Business Machines. Uh, which plans to take over Amsterdam. Uh, but we can stop them. Yeah. I know you are not related to my client by blood, but by taking advantage of a few legal loopholes, we could inherit his fortune and split it three ways. 40 for you, 40 for me, and the remaining 20 for flood victims, of course. Please respond to this message within three days, otherwise I will have to look elsewhere for some help. Sincerely, Sondaos. Forever Young. Are you looking, are you in your 50s, 60s, or even 70s, but still want to look like you're in the teens? Do you crave eternal youth of the Arasakas, but can't afford the implants? We've got a solution. One a day, pewter mix. Pewter mix. 
uh, will slow the effects of aging, helping you look even 20 years younger. Wait, it just slows your aging down. So if you're 70, you're just gonna slow down. You're just one small capsule a day away from enjoying your natural beauty to its fullest, even into old age. It is mixed completely safe to use. Studies have shown to be over 95% effective. Taco Tanaka MD. Incredible. I'm 68 years old and I don't look a day over 40. Oh, one of my many satisfied customers. All my wife's friends constantly ask me how she bagged a cougar self such uh, how her cougar self such a young husband you should see her face when she tells me I'm actually old enough to be her father another satisfied customer don't bother getting an expensive new faceplate invest in your stunning natural beauty and we've already seen this BD cool uh thanks net that's just the wide wide net okay Ugh, dang it uh see okay so I was really hoping I could shut all the cameras down from there, but I'm not going to get that lucky, am I? All right, let's uh, F5 that. You. Breach protocol. Here we go. All right, BD. I need I need both of these. Okay. Crap. Crap. Well, that sucks. Easy now. Come on now, it didn't spot me. Keep your I eyes peeled. See I close. see several heavy hitters. Just wait. Nothing to see just yet. Wait, dude. Give him it. That's a net runner. Wraith boss hunter? Crap. Who's he talking to? There. Let's just bounce back. Face to the torch. Try to melt him down. Oh boy. Can I get lucky? No. Nope. Hey, I will find you, you know. And when I do. Sweet. Now they're all on alert, though. There. This could go badly. Let me just bump back here. Damn it! Stay out of sight. Was I getting? Oh crap! This is bad. Bad start. Okay. That's weird. Yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine, man. Why would that make me five? Okay. Is there anybody over there? Here we go. These guys. You. 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 Kind of risky, but I'm gonna try it. Okay. Now you, I'm gonna wait for short circuit. K. 
Okay. Now one more. If... Okay. I'm like, if they don't get taken out, I'm in real trouble. Alright. Uh, can I cycle through cameras? No. No, I can't. Okay, I guess that's all, uh, all the help I get from this camera. Alright. Let's put that camera down, then. Okay. Now, I know we got a guy over here. I'm, uh, a little worried about making that run. Alright, I'm just going to do a new save. Oh, nice! I didn't even see this! Sweet! If you just come out. Okay, cool. Get right on that. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Crap. That's what I wanted to do. Okay, and we still have that sewer entrance, but I really want to clear the place. Yeah, that's weird. No, it's fine, man. It's fine. And nothing to be shy about. I think he's in the building to my left. That should be their garage. It's heavily guarded. Knowing them, they have something important in there. You it might sure even was. gain access to the security system. I'm hoping to. Mutant by midnight. What is this? Sorry, guys. This is probably going to be a long one. Uh, episode. It was a night like every other. An impressive black smog choked the city, pouring into the wicked hearts and lungs that breathed there. Acid rain drummed against thousands of window panes in the cityscape like a surreal tessellation of piano keys. Thirty years came and went. Nothing changed. I stood at the window, smoking a cigarette after cigarette, my thoughts distracted by the memory of a woman I had since war's end. And then I heard a knock at the door, just like her, just like 30 years ago. Come in. And those hoarse words strained my throat as I mechanically lifted my hand to the wall panel. The do metal door slid open noisily, revealing a slender figure draped snugly by, snugly by an ink, inky black neomill dress. She stepped inside, and her gold-plated hips glinting as they swayed. Her lips were a deep ebony, but her eyes, her predatorial yellow pierced, pierced eyes pierced mine and scanned me from head to toe. For a moment, I felt like I was, uh, they were prying my very soul from my body. Then I twisted my lips into an ugly smirk, and I remembered my soul was already gone. I left it in the war along with the flowers I placed on my mother-in-law's grave. <laughs> Somehow, someone's out there to zero me. She broke the silence with attention-demanding bluntness. The smooth allure of her voice clouded my mind, and I never noticed her third hand. Ooh, a mistake that would spell doom. Impossible. I started with the beginnings of a roguish grin. Uh, would you ever want to kill a woman with hips and lips like yours and a corpo nonetheless? She narrowed her impenetrable yellow eyes for a moment. In a whirl and blur, she now pointed a machine gun at my rock, at me with rock steady aim. You don't understand, she said quietly. Her barrel fixed at the point between my eyes. It's you. Don't you remember anything, dear brother? Oh boy. Memories flashed my nightmare of the war. Izubo, Izubio's blood frayed wires and the tattered remains of a plush taper received from Margaret just two days before she died in her father's last words. Words about my twin sister, a mutant, abandoned at birth and the promise that I'll find her. Too late, she found me. 
Whoa, that was cool. What the hell? Nothing is cool. Everything's cool. What are you, five? Get out of here. No. I'm like 28, 30, somewhere in that range. Yeah, Alright, well. No, it's, it's normal, man. It's normal. Okay, cool. So. All that dosh. All right, let's go upstairs. Check this door first. Oh, they found uh, some bodies. I guess he is out there now. Okay, let's see if I can get him from up here. The sniper is no longer. Problem. Keep moving. Did I just tell Pan Am to kill somebody? What happened? <laughs> Walks up on a body and says, huh, that's weird. Just chilling there. <laughs> in the shadows of mega buildings, one could say we're living in stable times. The fourth corporate war is ancient history and the unification war is over and done with. And Night City is a free city, a jewel embedded between two Californias. Living here, you might have the impression that everything is okay in the world. But look around. The world is not okay. Despite technological recession between 2020 and 2040, reducing global pollution levels, humanity is still facing monumental existential threats. Climate change has turned into climate disaster. Its effects are irreversible and dangerously unpredictable. Hurricanes, tornadoes, droughts, floods, natural catastrophes are going on in strength and frequency across the the continent leveling entire regions. Access to clean water is becoming increasingly more scarce as well as fertile land. Hunger and starvation still reaps a bloody human harvest in Asia and Africa, where corporations had no interest in building vertical hydroponic farms. Meanwhile, advances in cyber modification have given rise to a new problem, cyber, cyber psychosis. And though we've been aware of cyber psychosis for over half a century and know that incidents of cyber psychosis are inextricably linked to a person's level of implantation, we still don't know why some are more prone to carrying out violent acts than others. Let's not also forget about the more serious issue of mass inequality, record high crime rates, including the places like Nice City, and the social unrest linked to immigration in almost every corner of the world. So I ask you again, look around. You see all the problems in Night City already. Maybe you're staring, standing in the shadow of a mega building and you think Night City is Night City. The rest of the world's problems don't affect me, right? Right? Oh, crap. We read that one already. It's been so long that I don't remember what we read. All right, let's unmark that. Mark that door. Sweet. Oops. What did we get? Sex and Chrome. We read that one. After this, I'm definitely gonna look for a mod to see if it can tell me. Meat puppet. How about this for meat puppet? Yeah. Thanks. I think that was the guy that was making all the noise. Keep yeah, your head down there near the main structure. Ahead. That has to uh, be where they're holding Saul. Pan Am, are you talking to me twice? Alright, I think we got some more in the courtyard here. Do I want to go in this way? Okay, the main building. Watch for vermin. Saul is somewhere inside. I feel it in my bones. Remember what I told jellies? you? Find the control room and you'll gain access to the security camp. All right, guys, this is all the time we have in this episode. If you guys like the video, slap the like button. If you want to see the other videos in this series and the other series we have on the channel, hit that subscribe button and a little bell icon so you know when we come out with new content. And for all things Grey Ghost Plays, we have links to Discord, Twitter, Instagram, and now Patreon for, you know, support with benefits. And above all else, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.